Cloud Manager Image 8 provides the ability to scale existing environments and set advanced configuration options, making it easier than ever to deploy production environments in the cloud. You can scale your mid-tier elastically based on production workload demands. Cloud Manager supports multiple middle-tier and PIA domains on a single node as well as on multiple nodes. It also provides an option to enable integration broker in one application domain in an environment. The advanced domain setup and configuration extends the existing provisioning environment feature in Cloud Manager. When you define the topology, the Add Node page allows you to select the required middle tier domain combination for App Server, Web Server, and Process Scheduler for the node. In the Environment template, an administrator can edit the default attributes associated with the selected topology by editing the custom attributes. This is an example of the App Server setting for two domains with Integration Broker enabled in the first domain. Cloud Manager Image 8 supports on-demand scaling in OCI, which is the ability to scale up or down by adding or removing dynamic nodes to an active running PeopleSoft environment as needed. The Manage Node action is available for a running environment. Cloud Manager supports adding middle tiers to a running database or middle tier environment. It also supports adding one Windows PeopleSoft client or one Elasticsearch node if the environment does not include those nodes. On the Manage Node page, you can add or remove nodes to scale your environment. Enter the Scale action, Add or Remove, and Type of PeopleSoft client or middle tier. There is also an option to copy an existing middle tier configuration. The new node is added to the region and availability domain of the existing environment. Under Tier Settings, you can select the required shape name and disk space. Under Tiers, select the tiers for the node, and under Subnet Settings, select the subnet for the instance. This completes our discussion of the On-Demand Scaling feature. Starting with Cloud Manager Image 8, you can create a bare metal instance for the database system node and use it for provisioning any PeopleSoft application. When you create a new topology, you'll be able to select a bare metal shape for the database system. When you create a template based on the topology that includes the bare metal database system, the additional fields required for bare metal shapes are the CPU core count, which is the number of CPU cores enabled on the database system. Cloud Manager does not validate the node count, therefore you must use the correct node count for their tenancy or the deployment may fail. The data storage percentage, which is the percentage assigned to data storage including user data and database files. The remaining percentage is assigned to RICO storage including database redo logs, archive logs, and Recovery Manager backups. Accepted values are 40% and 80%. And the Disk Redundancy, which is the type of redundancy configured for the database system. Normal is two-way redundancy. High is three-way redundancy. Allowed values are high and normal. Because bare metal images run without virtualization, they guarantee single tenancy and that the maximum capacity of the machine is always available for the database. This completes our discussion of the bare metal support for database system feature. Cloud Manager Image 8 supports lift and shift of on-premises environments with reduced downtime using Oracle Recovery Manager or RMAN. This feature supports high-performance database lift to the cloud and is ideal for production systems because it does not require the system to be taken down before the lift. When you perform a hot backup, you'll be prompted for the OCI details and database environment details. The cold backup option supports transparent data encrypted databases for OCI. When the lift is complete, you'll be able to perform a shift on the environment. On the Lift and Shift page in Cloud Manager, you can view the details for the lifted environment. The database type is DBRMAN. When you create the environment, the database tier contains a field for RMAN backup encryption password. 
This completes our discussion of the lift and shift using our man feature. With Cloud Manager Image 8, you can run custom scripts before or after provisioning of any tier of the PeopleSoft application. You can run the shell and Python scripts for Linux instances like database, mid-tier, and Elasticsearch. You can run batch and Python scripts for Windows client. Because scripts are executed with root user permission, you could create a script to use a different user level based on your requirement. For example, a domain-level automation script can use a psadmin2 user. Users can call any other scripts or multiple scripts from within the scripts and execute them. For example, a shell script can invoke multiple shells, Python, or other scripts. The files and scripts that are called by the uploaded scripts can be directly placed in the file server. The repository contains a new option to upload the script. You can also upload any kind of supporting files that are used by the scripts. Once the custom scripts are uploaded, they have to be associated to the templates in the Environment Template page. This ensures that the script details are available during provisioning. When you create a template, you can indicate pre-provision custom scripts and post-provision custom scripts. The pre- and post-boot scripts dropdown is available for full tier, middle tier, database tier, PeopleSoft client, Elasticsearch server, and database as a service, or DBAS. This completes our discussion of the custom scripts feature. Cloud Manager Image 8 supports importing PeopleSoft databases that are deployed outside of Cloud Manager on Oracle Cloud, or OCI, into Cloud Manager. This feature enables you to bring in a database system created outside Cloud Manager as a Cloud Manager managed instance. The Environments page contains a new option to import environments. When you select this option, you'll then enter the required import parameters. You can monitor and review the status of your imported database. After importing a database system, use the on-demand scaling feature to add middle tier and other nodes. This completes our discussion of the Importing Database System feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.